Okay. Um, remember earlier when I told you there are no hard and fast rules in Dawah? I lied. There are, <laughs> there are two rules. I call them the golden rules. And what we say, like all the things, all the techniques, they're really suggestions. When I say this is a technique, it's a suggested technique. It's not necessarily going to work. And I pick my technique based on a lot of things. Remember that chart that had the rabbi, the Buddhist, that had all these people? I pick my technique based on the individual. And if I know the individual well, then I'll base it on uh, their personality, personality type, uh, my relationship with them, who do they think of, what they think of me. Maybe they just, you know, you're their friend from high school. Maybe you're the younger brother. Maybe you're the son or the daughter, and they're the parent. All these things come into play. And people always want me to tell them how to deal with their family. You can't do that. Well, uh, what should I tell my mom? I don't know your mom. I don't know your relationship with your mother. I don't know how big, how deep this problem is. You have to find the problem. Remember what we said yesterday? You, like, you diagnose, you find the problem, you apply a solution. That's your job. You always have to diagnose. Many times someone will come to me and say, look at this, look, just, I want you to focus on how illogical this question is. Someone will come to me and say, my mother, I reverted alhamdulillah five years ago, my mother is still non-Muslim, and she never, ever allows me to talk to her about religion. If I even mention religion or hint, she will stop me and cut me off. This is the question now. How can I talk to my mother about religion? What am I supposed to tell him or her? Yeah, but that's not talking to her about religion. Maybe eventually, you're right. I, mean, I might practice and she might say, well, you know, this is interesting and you've become very well-mannered. and That's true. But how do I get her to talk about... Do you see? Talk on the phone in front of her? <laughs> mm -hmm. so you explain? Okay, and he tells you she won't let me. Anytime I try to talk about religion, she will stop me. How can I talk to her? How can I talk to her about religion? Write a letter? Yes? Sorry? In direct dawa, like the phone. Is that talking to her about religion? Nah. That she respects. Tell someone she respects. Have someone that she respects. Tell her. Okay. Now tie her up, exactly. You tie her up. Yeah. How else are you going to make her listen? You tie her up like this so she can't block her ears. Tell her, listen, mom. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Obey your parents. <laughs> okay. Zakal khair, Sheikh Walid. Okay. Here's another scenario. My sister doesn't wear hijab. And every time I try to talk to her about hijab, she stops me. How can I talk to her about hijab? Okay, I, I already told you in the beginning, the question, there's something wrong with it. The question is, how can I talk to her about hijab? But I already explained to you, she never lets me talk to her about hijab. My mother will never tolerate talking about religion. How can I talk to her about religion? Do you see something wrong with this question? If she won't talk to you about religion, why would you ask me, how can I talk to her about religion? She won't let you talk to her about religion. So what would you do? No, besides that. No? Talk to her about something else, right? And it makes sense. For the hijab, for example. What I've heard from others, don't speak to them about hijab, but speak to them about other matters, being or something else. Salah, maybe. Maybe she prays. Increase their iman and their guidance, right? So, the one, the mother was the half but. The hijab is easier. If they only then yes. Okay. All right. But, you, yes, sir? You ask her why, what makes her stop engaging in that, <coughs> that particular topic. What stops her? You're a genius. <laughs> You're a genius, Zakallah Khair. May Allah increase you in intelligence. And everyone else is intelligent, but he just got it. You find out why she doesn't want to talk to you about hijab. You find out why your mother doesn't want to talk about Islam. That's the solution. So this is how it works. You come and you sit next to her. How are you doing, mom? How was your day? Listen, I'm not sitting with you right now to talk to you about religion. I'm not going to say a word about religion. I just want to ask you one question. 
Why do you hate to talk about religion so much? So you understand me, mom? We're not going to have a religious conversation now. I'm just, I just want to know why you hate the subject so much. Faddali. And then she'll tell you, and there's your solution. Find the solution in her answer. I'm, I don't want to talk to you or preach to you about hijab. I just want to know, why do you hate the subject so much? I mean, in the end, you know, something in the religion of Allah, you want to do it or not. I don't want to find out. I'm not going to try to convince you. I just want to know why you hate the subject so much. That's all. You understand? Then you can find out why she doesn't want to talk about religion and, and fix it. What if your mother says, oh, you know, talk about religion always brings fights. That's it? That's your only concern? Yes. Okay, then we're going to talk with respect and I swear we're not going to fight. And the minute you're uncomfortable, tell me to stop. You see how now we can find, and you, you can identify the problem and offer solutions to it. And if someone doesn't want you to, you need to find out why. I can't find a solution. I'll, I'll just come with, in, with the phone and start talking. Right, they get up and walk away. Now what? You're going to follow them around the house. So I was telling you, <laughs> like, why are you coming in my bedroom? Yeah, I, I have a phone conversation. You need to hear. Ah, huh. So find out why they don't want to talk about religion. Find out why they don't want to talk about hijab. Find out why your friend, every time you bring up Islam, he'll move a subject to something else. And so on and so forth. Yeah?